NBA TV studios. I'm Stephanie Reddy, and we've got a special guest. Sean Powell is here joining us. Sean, I appreciate it because I know how it is on the road. I've seen you out there working your tail off, so I appreciate you taking a few moments with us. Let's get right to this series. What are you expecting tonight out of this matchup in the Western Conference Finals? I think the big question I have is with, with Dallas is how much does Luka have left? Mm. I, you know, I know it's not a game six or game seven, but if you look at his workload, the fact that he's had to carry this team, high usage, going against a tough defensive team, and Andrew Wiggins that's making him work, uh, you know, I mean, at this point, this is the deepest Luka has gone in the NBA season. So I think it really comes down to an endurance test with him. He's got to play well. There's really no if ands, or buts. And now, you know, for a game five, does he still have the energy, the spirit, and the wherewithal to put up, like, 30-something points, you know, get his teammates involved, even rebound a little bit, and have enough gas left for the fourth quarter if the game gets tight? Yeah, that's a great point. You know, a lot of people have not had the good fortune of watching Luka Doncic live and in person. So since you have several times, explain to the folks at home what makes him special. I mean, TV Luka is great, but live and in-person Luka, that's a yeah. show. Yeah, well, you can see him thinking, basically, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Because he's anticipating, he's reading the defense, he has to. He has the ball all the time. And all kind of defenses are being thrown at him. All, also, the different players are being thrown at him. Tall players, quick players, strong players. So you can see him really reading the floor, reading the court, figuring out what he has to do next. Also, how can he beat his man off the dribble or what teammate is open in the corner or on the wings for the pass. So that part is fun. As a fan, as a reporter or whatever, you really get to see a young genius. And he really is a young basketball genius because he's been playing professionally, what, for about six or seven years? now uh, seeing a young genius at work in particular this late in the season trying to win the championship uh, I still think he needs maybe another piece you know he, you know he's not gonna come back from 3-0 if only because nobody's ever come back from 3-0 so be excited to see what he does in this game another elimination game for the Dallas Mavericks and also to see what he does from this day forward how he learns from this this experience in this situation and applies it next year and the years beyond well, we certainly know how good Luca is on these elimination games, but you brought up a really good point. Who else will show up? We've seen the difference in the Dallas Mavericks from when the role players are knocking down shots and when they're not. What can we, I don't know, hope for in terms of their production for tonight? Well, obviously, you know, Jalen obviously has got to pitch in. Uh, Spencer Denwin, he's got to pitch in. That's got to be pretty much a given. But, you know, Dorian Finney-Smith uh, has really had a, a, a decent playoff run. And I know he's had some scoring duds, some single-digit scoring games. And what's really amazing with him is he's, what, he had 43 minutes the other day in a game. For someone who is technically a role player, you usually don't see them on the floor that much. But with Tim Hardaway Jr. out, you know, the others have to step up. All of a sudden, their workload increases, and you hope, if you're the Dallas Mavericks, their production and their efficiency increases as well. You know, you, you talk about what you want, want to see. You know, what's really interesting in this game also from the Warriors standpoint, who's going to walk around with that Magic Johnson MVP, that conference MVP, the first one? Yeah. And, you know, look, if Steph Curry has a good game and Andrew Wiggins has a good game uh, and, and Looney has a good game, then all of a sudden, number one, that's pretty good for the, for the Warriors. But it, it, it makes some suspense. Who would you give it to? I don't know. 